Hi everybody, this is Tracy and I'm back with another tutorial. This is going to be a short one because this one is really simple. Um, I had also been asked about how I make the vines and stems on my minis. So I'm going to show you how I do that and this is really, really super simple. All I use is some of the packing paper that comes um, when you order stuff from some companies. They wrap them in this paper. It's real thin. And all I do basically is cut some thin strips. Now it's going to depend on the width of your strip how wide your vine or stem is going to be. With this size strip, your stem comes out being about this width. You cut it thinner and you can get something more in the order of this. It just depends on how thick you want it. That's how wide you'll cut your piece of paper. And basically, what I use to do mine is olivine glimmer mist. I just take a big fat brush, lay this out on my um, craft sheet, and I don't spray it. I take the lid off the bottle and actually dip the, the brush in and just paint it on. And make sure you cover both sides because this is going to be twisted. You'll be seeing both sides of the paper. And you can either let that air dry or, if you're like me and impatient, you can use your heat tool and make sure it's it's good and dry. After it is dry, what you want to do is take some Mod Podge. And you're just going to take a little bit. You don't want this real thick, just enough to hold it together and where it'll dry fairly quick unless you have a lot of time to wait. But you're just going to paint on a very thin coat of the Mod Podge and I tend to do it just a little section at a time because being this thin it starts to dry real quick and you just take the end and you start twisting it until you get that glued together once you get the end twisted then it just kind of naturally goes and you can just hold it between your fingers and twist and it just connects to itself and once you get down to where you've um, run out of Mod Podge. Just add some more. And just continue to twist it in between your fingers. If you do this with a longer strip by the time you get to the bottom part of it you're going to have some of that dried Mod Podge and some paper fuzz <laughs> stuck to your fingers and it gets kind of yucky, but that's all right. It comes off. To keep going. I cut this in half. I usually do a longer strip, but I didn't want to have to make you sit here and wait for me to twist this big, huge piece of paper, so I made a smaller one. Okay, now, it will unravel a little bit and what I do to let mine dry is normally I put a paper clip, I mean not a paper clip, but um, a clothespin. And I usually clip it to the edge of my craft sheet. Just kind of pin it to where it's, it's stretched out on there along the edge. Like that. And see if you can see that other part of it and I just let it dry and it, it holds together real good it doesn't come unwound and it, it's really simple that's all it is you can make it however long you want it if you need a longer piece or you know you can cut it up once you once you let it dry and on my blue mini I also um, let's see, let me find a paintbrush I also did a, a little twisted swirl and basically all I did with that was I wet it and then took um, a pencil or something and just wrapped it around while it was still wet and when it was dry I just you know slid it off I mean it even stayed that that's not wet and it, it's it's already took the, the twirl so it's you know got a little body to it because of the Mod Podge it'll hold some shape but if you want to wet it it'll it'll hold it even better than that but you can make the little I don't even know what you call these things. Little twiggles <laughs> to put in your flowers. 
But that is basically how you make the little vines. Like I said, it's a very simple, very short tutorial, but it adds a little something to your flowers if you want to put it in there with them. So, I hope y'all give this a try and see what you can come up with. Thanks for watching. Bye.